Welcome to Y'all Gaming, the only podcast on the internet that asks, did I get all the words out? Are y'all gaming? Are you? <laughs> I'm curious. Hi, guys. Lot, I'm Cody. I you said a lot right there. <laughs> I, said, I said a lot of words, and I think they might have gotten mashed up. But hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream today. I uh, did not stream last week. Had some stuff come up, but we're back this week. And both of us had, had a chance to play some stuff, uh, but we're going to start off with uh just saying hi we were both a glitch this weekend i was there for like an hour i just stopped by but you were there the whole time how'd you like it that was cool i mean i actually wasn't there the whole time um that same weekend me and tori just had to do like you know valentine's day stuff because we didn't spend the, the actual valentine's day together so mm, okay we went and did uh we were going to go to um to like uh, mini golf but it was like 40 degrees outside so that just wasn't gonna happen sure uh so you know we we circumvented did some other stuff watched some movies got some champagne it was cool um and then but sunday i was there for most of the day was hanging out it was a nice experience uh i didn't do the capsule thing because i'm like you know I, I get those for you know mega man or whatever but i'm not really i don't really vibe with mega man like that you know what i mean so sure sure uh, so I was like, all right, cool. Um, the action was dope. I didn't get to see nearly as – there was, like, not enough Kazias, uh at the top. Mm, they all got right. out, like, top 32, top 64. But Vendetta made top eight, so good stuff to him. Uh, finals was dope. Uh, commentary was fun. You know, it was a good time. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I had the opportunity to stream it. I had a fun time watching it. It, was, it looked like a fun event. Uh, Jake going super far, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about these games that we've been playing. Now, Horizon Forbidden West. I've gotten a couple hours in, but not nearly as much as you. Uh, yeah, but you're probably still in the same spot as me, because, you know, I'll be taking for I'll be, I'll be doing all the side quests. I don't know if you play sure. like that. No, I usually I try to do as much as possible. Uh, okay. But I'm currently at the... Um, oh, my God. Queen Elizabeth II p test positive for COVID. Oh, wow. Okay. The Queen... I, she's not dead, but okay. <laughs> she just got COVID. Gee, she's old. Uh, okay, so apologies to our British viewers. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West has come uh -huh. out. I played it a bunch. You've played it more. Uh, it's more of the same, right? No. Um, I think you probably don't remember much about Horizon Zero Dawn because <laughs> uh, it's been a long, you know, it's been okay. a long long time there is a lot more mechanics in this game uh like the, if you want to boil it down to base level sure it's you know shoot arrows dismantle robots sick right but the, she has a lot more moves and if you're like one to like actually get a lot more moves uh the valor then, surges and the yeah weapon valor arts, surges, stuff like that. different yeah, yeah. different arrow types and your arrows now have different shots too like or that are on like a stamina thing too mm. so like the war bow I don't actually fully remember if it was in the old one or not, but the war bow was basically your short range bow mm -hmm. and it like doesn't need a charge to do big damage, whatever. Right. But now you can get um, like, uh, you know, a weapon, I guess a weapon skill that will now make it a shotgun bow, basically where you'll shoot three or five arrows uh, at a time. Sure. So like you have cool stuff like that. The Valor Surges actually haven't messed around with those too much. Cause the only one I bought was the, like the one where you, uh, like she puts paint on her face and then she starts like shooting better arrows. Yeah. But I, I want to look into those more. Um, you have, I think more, you definitely have more abilities with your staff. They have like uh, the first thing that we just got, like I just got the thing where you can like ignite the, like the red flowers mm -hmm. and that's pretty cool and stuff. But yeah, so there's definitely some advancements. I'm going to say that it's like, if you, it's not like a super huge revolution of the game. Like you're still, you know, you're still playing Horizon Zero, I mean Horizon, but you're playing it with like a little more finesse now. So wait, so you you just got the thing that ignites the red flowers? Yeah. yeah oh yeah. my god. Okay, maybe we are around the same because I just got that too. Like yeah, yeah, I got that, and then I went back and ignited all the red flowers I could. So ah, uh, okay, so we're still pretty. Early. Okay, okay. I mean, I I literally like I do like I was a uh, that little fire emblem game that <laughs> sure. That, Play. I played that for like an hour and a half straight uh, when I got a chance to do that because you got to beat them all anyway to get the extra skill points and the extra pieces. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, whenever they give me a, a new quest, I don't do that until I can't do any more quests and then I advance the story. I used to do that. I, I now in this game, I kind of just whatever's closest to me because there's so much stuff. I just I, stuff. I'd rather do it that way. But I'm liking it. I agree with you that like, yeah, there's a lot of <clears throat> like small mechanics changes. I, I think my... I'm a little overwhelmed by how many things there are to hit. Like, I don't know. I think it's a good thing uh, to have this many options, but I just, like, 
Okay, pull ca I have to constantly remind myself, like, okay, pull caster is L2 plus triangle. Uh, yeah. Guard Blake yeah. is R1, R1, R2. Uh, Valor Surge is R L2, R1. Uh, right. the special weapon is that it's just like, it's so much to remember and I, I get a little frustrated cause it doesn't feel very intuitive, but you know, maybe I need to spend more time with it. Um, well, no, I mean, you're correct though. I mean, I, it's just like, there's only so many buttons on controllers, so I get it. Right. But like, that's definitely one of those situations where like, if you were to put this game down for like a couple weeks and you come oh, back, I would come back, I'd be miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So this is going to be like a, this is going to be a long mainstay, you know, stream game. Unfortunately, we will be at some, I might actually just bring my PS5 to Summit, bro. Like, <laughs> Just play it there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I mean, we're leaving in a week, right? Are we allowed to say yeah. this? We're, whatever. I, I don't, I mean. I ain't signed no NBA. Announced, yeah, I don't know <laughs> if they announced, but yeah, we're going to Summit. Anyway, uh, so there will, no, there will not be a Y'all Gaming next uh, week unless, well, I mean, I, I have my stream stuff. You can do it in person. I'll be on <laughs> a plane. One cam, one shot, one take Summit. Nah. Or Y'all Gaming. I, uh, I'll be on a plane. I get there at like 11 p.m so oh true okay yeah, yeah so i'm not gonna be there till late um yeah i mean what i i was actually thinking of the same thing uh maybe we find a <laughs> we both had to find a tv there they got plenty of tvs and set up so some yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fun um i'm surprised we didn't talk about that here at uh on this show because there's well, a lot to talk it. about there yeah yeah yeah. but i guess it's not really a game thing right it's just i mean we can talk about it when we get back sure 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 yeah that's probably yeah, a I'm better down. thing yeah 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 uh, but Z Forbidden West uh, is fun. I'm liking it. I am totally zoned out of the story. Uh, <coughs> like, absolutely. Like, I don't know, dude. I, I can't... I have less and less patience for this stuff. It's weird because I played the first Horizon Zero Dawn, and I liked the story, although I remember nothing about it now except, you yeah. know, she's the clone of the blah, blah, blah. And I remember sitting down through all the cutscenes, and I liked it, but I don't remember anything from it. And because of that... I'm not even wasting my time on this one. Like, I've got my game monitor on here, and then I'm doing stuff on the other monitor while she talks to people. I just, like, I can't. To, to be fair, know. there is a lot of, like, if you are one of those people who are, like, big in the story, mm -hmm. because you can, like, ask people multiple questions and shit, oh my there God, is yeah. a lot that, like, you want and would have to keep up with, and, like, cutscenes would probably take up, like, a good, they, they ha I feel like they would take up, like, a good, like, 50 hours. Dude, at, they're chatty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, whenever I, somebody gives me the option, I just opt out of the combo. I go bottom left. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I, I, it depends on what it is, but like normally I'll never have a full combo with anybody. Like sure. I'll, I'll definitely ask like one thing. Just like, all right, that was neat. And then I'm out. Like, I don't need to, you know, uh, but the story right now basically is that, you know, zero Dawn was basically like a protocol or whatever. Uh, it popped off. It did the thing. Hades was defeated, but Hades wasn't defeated because silence like rescued Hades. Mm -hmm. And he extracted all of Hades' data, and so, like, Silence is now evil. And so you're trying to basically stop him. Uh, you know, you thought you were going to stop him. Like, at some point in time, you meet Hades. Hades is, like, he's weak now. Sure. So yeah. it doesn't, he doesn't matter. But Silence has all the information that Hades had. And so that's basically where we're at right now. But she is, if you want to boil it down, she's just trying to save the world again. Again. Yes. Have you gotten to the spot with the three people? I'm trying three. to not spoil this as much as possible. You would know what I was talking about if you hit it. No, um, probably okay. not. Okay, there's a there's yeah, I got the I did the I did the thing to get the uh, the you know the power mm -hmm. for the the red thing. I right. beat the uh, that boss battle. Unless that's what you were talking about. There was a boss battle with three with people. those three people. Yeah, 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 you knew three people. Okay, so you did do the boss battle. Those yeah, yeah. So the boss battle was cool. Those people are intriguing. Cause like that adds they a new are, element. I'm I'm into but that. They don't feel like they fit. But then again, like I think it's because like how the future has developed. Like maybe right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like Horizon. You know, it, it's the, they said the first part one was set basically like in the Colorado area, right? Sure. So Forbidden yeah. West is like in Cali, mm. so it's like is the rest of the world like still civilized and like just super not, advanced? Yeah, yeah. And so like that's where those people came from. Because I'm like, all right, that would make a lot of sense because they just every, you know, you, you're still fighting tribes. The first person you fought, it was another tribe. And then you sure. fight this guy and he's like in Mass Effect armor. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. You're like wait a minute. Yeah. I want to I want to talk about it a lot. But I also I, one, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. And two, uh, we I'm sure they'll explain it. But I, I thought it was intriguing. I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And I'm interested yeah. to see where they go right now. I'm uh, I, I it's still it's funny because. I still like it better than Breath of the Wild. 
Uh, <laughs> I'll start. I don't even think that's a hot take anymore, man. You I, don't think so? I think people. I, well, still I mean, get I think mad, it's a hot take know? to to like Nintendo people who are not realizing the power of an IP instead of a game. Sure. Uh, some dude, some dude was talking to me about that on the first day that I streamed it, and he was like, "Well, I don't think you can really compare them because outside of open world, like Horizon Zero Dawn's more of an action game, and uh, Breath of the Wild is more of a adventure game." And I was like, "See, I would like to agree with you there, except for the sheer amount of shit that you have to do on Horizon Zero Dawn. Right. That's still an adventure game, like." Yeah. Yeah, there's some really cool action segments, and there's definitely a lot of action. Yeah. But to say that it's an action game now is not – that's not true. That's true. not – I mean, it's it, action-adventure maybe, but, like, it is definitely not just a pure action game. Pure action game would yeah. be, like, Bayonetta, you know? Like, sure. Like, that's an yeah. action game. So uh, – I forgot so, one thing that I do mm-hmm. hate about Horizon right now is the climbing sections. Uh, not, not like the tall necks, like the, the really small condensed puzzle sections are fine, Mm -hmm. but that area leading up to the fight that we were talking about in the flooded cave is miserable because like all you're doing is holding left or right on the stick while Aloy does her little thing. She has a cute little thing where like she jumps and, oh, she almost fell. What happens if she fall? Like she's not going to fall and you have to sit through that whole cutscene. It's like. I, I get I'm getting really irritated because I think I like the combat and the moment to moment gameplay so much that when I get to sit through a climbing what feels like a cutscene, I'm just annoyed. Like I just I you know I, I think that's like those those type of things are definitely more suited for like Uncharted because right. you know like that's what he like Nathan Drake defies like the laws of gravity and like just human like human limits and stuff and he, he's always like making his way through like the most series of unfortunate events right and like. It's cool to see that every now and then, but I definitely get what you're saying. Like, I don't need to, like, I don't need to be shown that, oh, my God, she's about to fall because we knew she wasn't going to fall. Like, unless she's actually going to fall, I don't need the fake fall. So yeah. I got you. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm liking it, though. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep playing it. I think we can probably catch back up in a, in a week or two as both of us beat it. But it sounds like we're both very <laughs> <it>. early on. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to beat that in a week, so. You don't. You think uh, it's that long? Well, you're doing no, everything. Never I'm mind. doing okay. a lot of stuff, Ooh, and I'm not. And I'm. I'm mostly doing it on stream. Which, by the way, twitchtv breezy. I know y'all a lot of y'all are here, and if you actually do like the game, I am the super fan for this. So it was mm. kind of surprising. Like I was like, I thought people were gonna be. Re- I've been talking about this game since like literal release. I thought people yep. were gonna be ready, and it's just like, I can get it though. There's a lot of adventuring, and there's a lot of downtime in that game at times when you're kind of like you know going to and from and sure. talking to people instead. So I can see how like it may not be the best stream game, but it is. Like that is. That is the game I was most. There's a whole reason I even have PS5. Like, sure, I yeah. heard the announcement and immediately pre-ordered. When I uh, when I played it, I played it off stream because uh, I wanted to play it on stream, but Juliet wouldn't fall asleep, and so you know I I, I started at like 10 p.m. and mm-hmm. you know I wasn't on stream. And as I played the first like two or three hours, like I'm glad I didn't stream this because it seems like a very bad stream game. Like, it just feels slow. Like, not snow, slow, but, like, you know what I mean? It feels very, um, if you're not into the cutscenes, there's not really much else to do. You're just checking things off a map or, like, doing, you know, I just... The start is definitely... It, maybe it's just the know. start being so slow. Um, yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, it's probably gonna be like that for a while, but I feel like once you have more stuff and, you like, some more missions will probably be like, hey, man, we can't get through. Can you go beat these two boss monsters? Like, all right, that's sure, fun yeah, to watch. Yeah. But, like, at the beginning, you're just like, hey... Uh, we are trying to, you know, we're trying to like bring some supplies over here. Could you run those over there? Okay, and then yep. you get on the one of the Striders or whatever and just ride over. It's like, all right, sick. So it's a lot of, uh, you know, just here at a, a point A to point B missions right. instead of like go here and beat something uh, amazing. So I, yep. I hope I am. I'm hoping that happens later in the game, but I'm still gonna take my time because I definitely want 100 percent this game just like I did with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Definitely true. Uh, second thing we had to talk about was Lost Ark, which I have not tried yet, and I'm only trying it soon because I did get a bounty. I knew it. I did get a bounty, so I'm going to be giving it a shot sometime on stream this week. Did Uh, you get, are you going to do the Naraka one too? Uh, it's not up there for me anymore, but I was going to, because I've already done like three Naraka bounties, and they're, it's so funny every time I do it, so. I'm going to go check. Yeah, I did have it, but it's gone now. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me see if... Naraka <laughs> loves me, bro. Every time they come up, I, sh- I they love me in that game. And I'm so good, bro. I kill everybody. They're definitely not bots. All right, all right, hold on. I'm checking the bounty board, boys, and I still have it until the 25th. Oh, why do you still have it? Mine's gone. 
What's crazy is that I get the Lost Ark bounty. Uh, I can I, I have that until the thirty first of huh? of uh, March. Oh, I might have had that too. Mine says it expires on the twenty sixth, but that's because I accepted it. I think once you accept it, you only have five days. So that's uh, what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so do I? Man, I wanted to play the rocket with you, bro. It would have been mad fun. Yeah, I'll let you know if it comes back up. That game's funny. Yeah. I mean, I can also do Lost Ark with you. I have been playing that. Sure. So. Might do uh, it. Uh, I don't want to spoil it because I'll yeah, yeah, do I it soon. You. Not tonight, though. Not tonight. I'll say that. So. Uh, they. So. Uh, Lost Ark is fun. I think that uh, it, to me. So, my, my biggest thing with MMOs is that normally I don't like them because I feel like uh, I don't like seeing just damage numbers, but with no interact, like no reaction to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not, that's definitely not an issue on Lost Ark. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everything that gets hit has all the little minions that get hit flinch. Uh, you can, if you hit big bosses in the right way, like front attacks or back attacks or counters, they like get stunned and all that's really dope. I'm currently playing the, the male shooter class, uh, like basically Dante. Okay. <laughs> and like, Neat. he's fun. I had another character, uh, I made, uh, Tori in the game as well. And she's a fighter. So, uh, but I think I haven't seen any complaints about any of the classes. I think everyone says that, like, you know, you can kind of just really pick what you want. Sure. But um, some of the classes, they are kind of, they are um, gender locked. So. Oh, that's you, weird. You can okay. have two fighters, but your male fighter only has one type that he can be, and that's the striker. But the female fighter can be, uh, like, a scrapper, um and then like the more agile fighter and then like a soul fist or something like that. So gotcha. you, you should definitely look into what you want to do. Cause like you pick what you, your, your class immediately. Like you start the game, you pick your class and you pick your um, like profession in that class. And then you start the game. Got you. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know any of that stuff. So that's uh, I, I'm going into a totally blind sometime this week. Um <clears throat> I, 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 when I'm watching it, it just looks like Diablo, right? Like a, uh, a sort yeah, of Diablo kind of, yeah. Pretty kinda much. Thing. Yeah, Diablo, you know, people people say a little Path of Exile, but you know, it's much prettier than both of those games. Uh, sure. And, yeah, I don't know. The, the world, I think the other thing is, you know, how New World came out and everyone was like, oh, it's so dope. I think the world setting in New World just wasn't in, in, interesting to me. Sure. And the world setting in this one is a little more interesting to me. Well, I'll give it a shot at least for an hour. Um, mm-hmm. Anything in particular that I should look out for or be ready for? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, there, if, there's a lot of, you know, uh, run to this area, run to that area missions, but they're usually, like, pretty close. But that's also kind of annoying because there's, like, missions where, like, there's two people, like, that are literally in the same screen mm-hmm. area. And he's like, hey, man, could you go tell this person this? And you're like, okay, <laughs> so you walk over there. And it's, like, literally five steps away. And he's like, oh, really? Okay, could you go back and tell them this? And it's just, They've got to be messing with you, right? That can't be real. That has to be a bit. There's like, no can you just real. walk over there? Like, <laughs> That's pretty Like, good. literally an eye, like, envision of each other. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, man, I, I can't yell that far, man. Can you go ahead and... <laughs> Go ahead and tell me what's going on over there. Honestly, that sounds like easy XP. That's nice. I like it is that. though. It is. It is. So it's not like the end of the world. It's just like it's one of the things that I, I I noticed, and I was just like, wait a minute. Like, I'm not like if I were to lock my screen, I could do this whole mission. In the screen. Yeah, actually, yeah. If this if the camera oh, didn't man. move and your character just like jaunted back and forth, you'd be done. Yeah, but other than that, that doesn't happen too often. The fighting is fun. Uh, you'll still see people in the overworld, and a lot of times, like there will be, there is overworld bosses, um, that will kind of just randomly show up. So, like if you see a bunch of people fighting one thing, just hop on, hop in on that fight because literally, if you hit them once, you, that counts, and you get all that loot. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, game is sick. I, I, I'm, I want to get back into it once I finish Ace, uh, Horizon, but uh we'll see what's coming out around that time and we already have another game to talk about coming around that time which is gonna be Elden Ring. we do and we're gonna talk about that right after this guys did you know that browsing online using incognito mode doesn't actually protect your privacy unbelievable but it's true without added security you might as well give away all your private data to hackers advertisers your isp and other prying eyes just let them have it no more that's why you should use ip vanish vpn to make it easy to stay truly private and secure on the internet IP Vanish helps you safely browse 
browse the internet by encrypting 100% of your data, which means that your private details, passwords, communications, browsing history, everything will be completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands. Even your physical location, they can't even find where you are on a map. IP Vanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's like getting nine months for free. You get an IP Vanish baby. It's nice. Go to IPVanish.com slash YallGaming. Use promotional code YallGaming. Spell it out. The name of the show, no apostrophe, and claim your 70% savings. And because they told me to, I'm going to spell it for you. IPVanish.com slash YallGaming. Or click the link in the chat, which is coming up soon. Thank you. Okay. Let's get to our third game, uh, Elden Ring, which is coming out. Dude, it's not even out Friday. It's on Thursday. <gasps> oh, I'm so oh. excited. Yeah, they, they dropped a worldwide release schedule, and it comes out midnight on Friday, but 6 p.m. on Thursday, which means that's a You're long play stream. A oh, dude, that's a long stream for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. man, I'm excited. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, the hype has not hit me yet. Uh, maybe I'll, you know, be a little more hyped about it because, like, I when I watch you play or something, I just the the game for this month for me was Horizon. Yeah, like, sure. There, you know, and so and then when you look at next month, I feel like the game for me will be probably Kirby. Um, yeah, yeah, that's soon. Yeah, yeah. So we got Kirby. A tunic's also supposed to come out, but I'm just kind of like, it, will it though? Because y'all said that in like 2016, and then now it's 2022. So yeah. Uh, Hopefully, whatever y'all did that game is much better. Like I played the demo when it like at the um, at whatever PAX I was at, and it was sure. cool. But like I'm just like, if that's what you're about to give me eight years later, I'm going to be upset. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I I haven't really been keeping too much an eye on it. I thought it already came out, so I've been like sort of tracking it, but not really. So no, they're supposed yeah. to come out sometime in in March. But we're okay. not talking about that. We'll talk about that in March. Currently, we are talking about Elden Ring. Uh, the game, like as I said, like hasn't caught me by hype. Definitely understand why it looks good. I see a lot of people in my timeline talking about like being hyped with it. Got a chat in the uh, or got a, a chat here for you that says, uh, "What build are you doing, Tony?" The most boring one, the most basic one. All I ever do in in these games, legitimately, the only thing mm -hmm. I do is just pick. Uh, the strongest sword I can at whatever time. Like, just the, the strongest regular broadsword. I'm not fun or interesting with the weapons that I pick. Um, but definitely, a, a, like, a warrior. I don't, I've don't. i never played mage in any Dark Souls game or any kind of magic at all. It's just, I'm so boring. Um, I I feel like, well, okay, well, you're definitely going to play warrior and Lost Ark, too, because they're, they're pretty cool. Big sword, big log, you know, big sword, big... Well, uh, I don't, no, Lost Ark's different though, because like, oh man, no, no, Come no. On. I, I kind of like, I kind of, I'm fine with being like a mage in other games, but in Dark Souls, it's like there's a you gotta change. I feel like you don't get the real Dark Souls experience if you're not playing as a warrior. Like if you're running away, shooting spells from full. Like the whole point of the game is the is the hand to hand combat. You know, I think it's different, but I'm boring. I know. Oh, for like parrying and stuff. Yeah, because, like, you got to get the parrying. You have to figure out roll timings. I think it's a different game if your whole game is, like, major spells or... I don't know. It's a different kind of vibe. Um, you think So you think, like, if you're going to play this game for the first time, that should, like, going more magic is, like, a that's a second time run. Kind of. I think... I think you will run into unique walls both ways, but I think mm -hmm. it's easier to figure out the answers to what you're doing wrong if you're playing physical. If you're playing mage, it just might be like, oh, yeah, you have a crappy spell right now. Um, yeah. But I, I, I don't know because I haven't played it in that way, so I can't speak about it, and I'm not going to do it for Elden Ring, which does just look like another Dark Souls, which is probably fine. We've talked about it on here before. I'm a little worried because it's just... I don't know, like yeah, but no one's no one's worrying about the Dark Souls formula changing though. Nah, I'm not, it's not that I'm worried about it changing. It's about like Bloodborne and Sekiro were so different, and this has mm -hmm. a different name, and it's supposedly a different like it's open world, but it looks very Souls. Like the other okay. games didn't look Souls at all, even when you first looked at them. I could be wrong. We could it could come out, and it's very different all the way through. You know, and either way, it's going to be fun. But I look at it, and I'm just like, ah, it's. I don't know. I wanted something a little bit more unique. Okay. I mean, that's understandable. Uh, again, you know, we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens with that uh, as we are, what, now a couple hours away. I'm like, 
less than you know less than 48 hours away that's so, crazy well, well about 48 hours away because it's coming out on uh thursday now and i'm sure there'll be a lot of people uh willing to watch that so and i think you're probably hopping in hopping in at the beginning is a great time so that people don't immediately try to tell you how to play oh god thank Although, god that will probably still happen anyway well it will happen but this is actually going to be my first souls game that i get to play totally blind and i'm so okay. excited i never got to do that because well no that's not true i guess i got to do sekiro sekiro is blind but every other game was like you know it 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 i i came in late so this one's gonna be great uh i'm excited to be on it and for everybody to discover things i'm sad that you're not taking the journey at least not early on but you've got other stuff to play so yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, if I if this was coming out not around the same time, then yeah, I probably would have, just to have something else to play, because like, sure. whenever I don't have like a main game, it's basically just a bunch of evergreen stuff, and evergreen stuff is fine, you know, I like Apex, I like Fortnite and all that, but sure. Uh, I also like working toward goals of beating like actual games, seeing that like that's the whole reason I started streaming, you know, trying to beat some games, Yeah. and uh, you know, even so, like I've been working on games off stream, I bought this... <laughs> But there's definitely this like Zelda knockoff called Ocean Horn. Um, Ocean Horn? Mm hmm Okay. It was it was a it was a actually a mobile game at first and it showed up on the Switch for like five dollars. And it's been there for a bit and I have like all these, you know, I buy a lot of my stuff digital, so I have all these like coins. I was like, all right, whatever, right? Like I'll 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 play it. I'm going through it, definitely is a mobile game that's been ported. It's fine. <laughs> uh it's it's short though, and then they had an Ocean Horn two, which looks way better than the, the first one. And I was like, "What? Well, I want to play that one, but I don't want to like not know what happened in the first one." So like I'm running through the first one without like you know being one of those like 100 percent games. I'm basically just doing the story. This one and is then, also a mobile game. This is so funny. I'm looking. The at second the one's a mobile game. I'm, I it just it looks like it with the UI and everything. Maybe not, mm. but like, oh man. That's that yeah, is yeah. Link. That's Link. Yeah, yes, it is. It is the the biggest knockoff. They weren't in there, and you have to go to three different areas. Shameless. You're failing in your ship. Like it's just yeah. All right, bro. <laughs> good for them. Good for them. Hey, if you got to knock off anybody, you might as well knock off the best. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So oh, oh, so far though, like I will say, I like what I like about the battle system is that um, like you actually have to kind of like space because like monsters do like one heart every hit, and like yeah. they swing very quickly. It's you know, your shield uh, has stamina, or you have stamina, so, like, if you run out of stamina, you actually can't block anything. So it's like, all right, word, you know? Like, that's cool. A little thought process in the fighting. Uh, and the puzzles are, 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 they're not, like, exact carbon copies. They're not hard either, though. Sure. But I'm sure that's because it's a mobile game, and you can't do so many, like, actions on mobile, uh, of, like, efficiently. You yeah. know what I mean? So they're like, all right, we got to kind of dumb it down. And that's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm probably finishing in, like, six, seven hours. I said it was about nine hours. And I was like, yeah, I feel like I can do it a little faster. We haven't even touched on. Uh, we we got right off of Elden Ring, unfortunately. But I mean, it's not out. No, like, it's what not else can out. You say? It's not what out. Else can yeah. you say? What we'll, we'll you're going to play it? I'm going to watch you. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a yeah. shot. Like I said, it comes out on uh, on Thursday uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern. As far as I'm aware, if you're on consoles, then you get it later, which is an Omega laugh because you even get it later if it's physical, which sucks. Like. I usually buy my games physically, so if I didn't have a PC, I'd be in trouble. But yeah. So it's only so it's only six for PC. Six PM for PC. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they they said you could preload it on Steam. Actually, I need to look at that because I should have got my code in. Um, not yet. Uh oh, I got to figure that out. But I'll do that off stream, guys. That's gonna do it for y'all gaming. Thank you for tuning in. Wait, next wait. Week, uh, my favorite thing to do before what? we actually leave. Okay, I have to. I have to check. Uh, let's see what's on Keymailer real quick. Let's just, you know, we'll see. We'll Good see the stuff. hotness on Keymailer. I see. Uh, my keys right now. Wait, let me just go to Discover. I'm playing Tinykin. Uh, there's a demo for Tinykin, which is Pikmin. It looks funny. I don't know Dang. if it'll be good, but I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be trying that out. <laughs> oh, I you know see it. I see it. Yeah. Well, no, I think yeah. I think I remember you uh, talking about that a little while back. It it looks pretty up your alley. We'll like, see. You know, it's Pikmin, but also like I think the art style seems like something you would enjoy as well. Sure. So, all right. Well, there's one. Uh, other than that, I don't see any other games here this week that are. There is. Oh, I thought this, I thought this game was just called a roguelike. No, it's AI roguelite. 
I'm flanked. Oh, I see it. Yeah. All right. D yeah, there's okay, more and then... more porn on this site. It's making me mad. Lust from beyond. I, I'm looking at it now. It's a paid campaign. It, it dude. Even uh, do you see this? Even on the thing, it says lust from beyond. Two hundred and fifty dollars for a one hour campaign. They're oh my God. really trying to get you to play it. Uh, okay. But you can't play it on Twitch. So where are you going to play this? I what? I, I think uh, it's just porn, right? Like, it's hello? called Lust from Beyond. I, I, where are you going to play this? You can't do this on well, maybe on YouTube. You can't do it on Twitch though. You could. I mean, you might actually be able to do it on Steam. Uh, yeah, stream it on Steam. Oh, dude, I might do that. Two hundred fifty dollars to stream it on Steam. <laughs> that uh, sounds funny. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, so if you guys are trying to... This is insane. Uh, Goodness gracious. I'm going to look this first, up. The first... Oh, my God. All right. I'm glad I'm glad y'all can't see my screen. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you can't... Yeah, dude, there's more and more of this on Keymailer. It's crazy. It's just straight up. I did not up, know that. It's straight up porn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 250 for a one-hour video, you know, if you... Uh, bounty, pay out. We'll see. Okay, uh, thank okay. you guys for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Uh, no, we won't. We're going to be at Summit next week. We'll be back the week after. We'll talk about Summit, Elden Ring, whatever games. Uh, tickle our fancy, but for now, that's going to do it. Uh, anything else to, to talk about before we're done? No, I'm just going back to, you know, actually going to get into some Horizon Zero Dawn after we do one more episode of Take Me Out, because that's pretty funny. Uh, and then, Are yeah, you we're gonna... streaming again now? Yeah, yeah, of course. There you always, go. Okay. You know? So... Come on through. I know you guys were probably some of y'all, most of y'all probably came from my stream, but if you did not come back to the stream, we're going to do some react content or, you know, watch some Breeze watch stuff. I know everybody loves that. So here we are. Uh, I got to put my last one on YouTube too. Uh, but yeah, man, come on through. I'll see you guys on my stream uh, in like literally 30 seconds. And thanks for watching another uh, episode of Y'all Gaming. Uh, we will see y'all in most likely two weeks. Yep. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you soon. But for now, goodbye.